<laughs> and I really thought for a few days there that I had the magic answer to getting a few more eggs for our customers during these cold, short winter days. I am very excited to say that we finally have a reliable way to substantially... You are an ugly chicken. Get out of here. <laughs> no hurry. Relax. You're a better chicken. You look a little better. I, have... Shh. I am very excited to say that we have found a reliable way to substantially increase our egg production. If you've been watching some of our earlier videos, you'll know that the dark, short days of winter really cause our chickens to lay fewer eggs. At our peak production in the summer, we get oftentimes 24 eggs a day. Well, that dropped down to about eight a day. Okay, settle down. It's all right. It's okay. Hello. Hello. I tried putting a regular light inside the coop to simulate longer and brighter daylight hours. But really, there wasn't a big difference in the egg production. There were some days that I forgot to turn the light on at all, and not a lot of difference there. There were also some days that I forgot to turn the light off, and the chickens just had to sleep with the light on all night. But again, not much of a difference in egg production. Well, now we have a red light in our coop, and that has made a big difference. We're up to about, I'd say, 14 eggs a day again, rather than the eight, which is a big improvement. It's okay. It's just something about the red light that stimulates more egg laying, while at the same time, letting the chickens sleep normally at night. Here's a clip of me collecting some eggs in the middle of the night with that red light on. Usually, I try... Excuse me. Usually, I'll try to collect eggs twice a day to help minimize broken ones. The longer the eggs are in the nest boxes, the likelier it is that the chickens will accidentally peck holes in them, just moving them around with their beaks. Ones like this just have to be fed right back to the chickens.
It's good for them though. For safety, we have this light protected in a wire cage, but it's also an LED bulb that only draws three watts of power. So it's really good for longevity, energy cost savings, and reduced fire risk. The bulb itself is also advertised as being suitable for damp locations. The brand is Sunlight, and I'll put a link in the video description for you. We keep this light on all the time, and our results have been pretty consistent for about a week. I just couldn't be more pleased to be getting more eggs than I was. This weird red cast to the light may not be as conducive to good videos, but if I do need to shoot something in here, I can always just turn it off or swap it out for a regular bulb. Chicken vision is very different from humans. It must be weird to be a chicken. First of all, chickens see a greater portion of the spectrum than we do. I wonder what those extra colors look like. Chicken's night vision actually isn't as good as ours is. Because their eyes are on either side of their head, they can see things coming from every direction. And one of those eyes is dedicated to seeing things up close, while the other eye is better at seeing things a little further away. What do you think, little lightning? Chicken's weird. What about you, Striker? You like your little chicken neighbors? I don't have any treats for you right now. Even if a chicken were blind, it would still perceive longer or shorter days because they have glands on their heads that alter hormones based on light levels. Although we have just recently turned the corner on the days getting a little longer, I don't think that small amount of extra daylight would account for the larger number of eggs that we've been getting. I think it is the red light. But just to test that theory, I think I'll turn the light out for a day or so and see if our egg count drops back down. Well, I was wrong. I left the light off for about four days and there really wasn't any difference in how many eggs we'd get. It seems like there's nothing I can do one way or the other to affect how many eggs our chickens will lay. And I really thought for a few days there that I had the magic answer to getting a few more eggs for our customers during these cold, short winter days. It looks like just about the entire increase in our recent egg production is the result of just a few more minutes of daylight each day. My whole experiment with this red light just happened to coincide with the time of year 
when our chickens would start laying more eggs.